Like most amplitude charts, event segmentation charts are built by combining events and event properties with user segments. These can be simple, like, for example, counting the numbers of users firing a specific event, or they can be intricate formulas of events. With the event segmentation chart, you can build analyses that measure the top events performed over a selected period of time, analyze how often events are fired, determine the count of unique users firing events in your product, and clarify which users tend to fire certain events. In this course, we'll cover some of the best practices for event segmentation charts, as well as some tips for interpreting your data. While the event segmentation chart might be the chart you use most, it's not built for every use case, which is why we have other charts. For example, if you're wanting to work with multiple metrics, you might want to choose a data table. Or if you're wanting to look deeper into how a particular segment converts through multiple steps in a funnel, you might want the funnel chart. Or if you're wanting to know how often or how frequently users use your product, you might want the retention or stickiness charts. But all of these charts involve knowing what to look for in the first place. And to find that out, you often begin with event segmentation.